Hello everyone, and welcome to a new playthrough of RuneScape. Now, I haven't actively played RuneScape in a number of years, so a lot of this stuff, the way, especially the beginning, because the character that I had uh, before I had in 2002, so it's been about actually a year. A little bit less than, I mean, not a year, but a decade. It's a little less than a decade, because my I started in late 2002. But, uh... Decided I wanted to give this game another try. And so far, I don't remember any of this. This is definitely different. To some degree. Looks good, I think. Yeah, I guess that's good. Don't really want a mustache, so I think that's pretty much good enough. It's gonna be a character for this playthrough. Uh, what do I want for a character name? Dark Maid? Have I used that one? Don't remember. Yes, apparently I have used that one at some point. I had a couple characters back in back then, so I'm trying to think of names that. Okay, uh, I'm sure Siren is probably already taken. Uh, can't put Siren Dark Maid. Too long. Let's put some numbers, I guess. I usually don't have numbered names, but I think I'll make an exception this time. What would be a good number, though? Okay, I think I've got one. Uh, hmm. Let's go with 1991, I think. All right. Whoa. <laughs> That's kind of odd. Introductory task. What are those? I've I've just gotten into this game and I have no idea what's going on. Uh task, huh? Have to talk to this guy. This is the Taskmaster. Uh, he's the master of the task system. Apparently these are tasks that they want you to do at the beginning of the game. And he'll give us money for every task that we complete. In fact, I see money out there. Alright, that actually gave us more money because that was a task apparently for some reason. And clicking on the map was a task as well, what the heck. What just happened? He just zoomed in on that goblin harassing that guy. So I guess it wants us to go over there. Okay, this game is lagging slightly for me, but I think it's probably because there's so much going on in this area, Lumbridge. So basically, Lumbridge, and which back when I played at Varrock was basically the hub of the free member game. 
a free world game. There's gonna be a lag trap, so I'm sorry about that in advance, but there's nothing I can really do. It should be okay when we get out another task and more money. This is probably a good way to get money for a while. Just do tasks. But I don't really want to spend a whole bunch of time doing directly tasks. I'll just do them when I do something that I plan to do them first. I don't know. Why did I just crab walk? That was kind of odd. Um, gives me the shiny. Diplomatic approach. They're fighting over a bronze sword. He's supposed to be a guard. And I apparently think he's a sissy, so. Really, that's all you have to do to get rid of a goblin is tell it no. Oh well. I got nothing to say about that. Oak logs. I'll take some of those. We can probably start on some quests. I think there's a quest in the graveyard. Restless Ghost it is, I think. That's the closest one I can remember. That's around here. Let's go in here and grab some stuff. If I remember correctly, there's free stuff in here. I have free pickaxe and a hand axe. Need those two things starting out. I'll probably drop them soon after I get something better, though. I usually always like having steel stuff. Steel is usually the first thing that I upgrade to from bronze. I skip iron entirely, usually. Man, I'm just getting money here. I'm not even really doing anything, I'm just doing some stuff that I'd usually do, and I just get. Okay. You're different. Don't remember you. Uh, cultist in the catacombs of a prisoner. Three of them. And she wants help with them, I guess. Okay, uh, we'll help that. I don't remember this either. They have changed some stuff. Alright, there's a guard in the room ahead. We have to overpower him. Well, I have a dagger, so that should probably be good enough. I think I see him up ahead. Let's go ahead and knock him out then. Wait. What just happened? Uh, <laughs> uh, you're useless, I don't need you. Okay, first cultist is using a ranged weapon, so attack him with melee. Run straight at him, or... yeah. I don't really care about all this stuff. Are 
you suck, man. You can't even hit me. Yeah, now you can hit me because I'm right in front of you. Am I gonna kill you? Uh, let's see some questions first. Yeah. Pretty much suck. So the next one's gonna be a mage and a fighter. I guess this is just to show like the different ways you can fight. You can be a range person, a mage, or a fighter. That's basically the three basic ways you fight. I'm a fighter myself, but I'll probably put in some skill for magic and range. I mean, range's not that bad, but I'm kind of. Uh, it's always annoying to me. Um, range is always annoying to me just because the ammo problem. I've never really liked it that much to be like that, where I depend on how much ammo I have to even fight relatively well. Kale sling, okay. You can heal me, I think you said you can heal me. Yep, okay. Equip the sling, okay, I can do that too. Hmm, my first hundred gold coins. Well, let's knock her, knock her out. Oh, you're dead. doing anything a task? Seriously, I'm getting task way too much. Although this, these ones aren't really giving me anything. I have some questions for you. You are a wizard. You are a wizard, Harry. It's me. He used to be a hacker low at the Lumbridge Brit or church. He was just an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was. What is this place? Tell me. The tomb of Dragoth Nern. Dragoth Nern was a necromancer. He lived in Lumbridge decades ago. Oh, and this is a catacomb, so that's even better. But he's dead, isn't he? Body of a necromancer contains powerful magic. If you perform a ritual on his tomb, you can unlock the secrets of his work. So that's why you want their. I was kind of wondering why they wanted a dead necromancer. He's probably, you know, dead. Probably can't do anything. I mean, just like thought, gonna be immediately fighter next. I don't necessarily believe them telling me this. A magic users uh, can trump a melee fighter because that's usually not the case. It's really not. I can figure out how to cast magic on my own. Let's see, let's go to magic book and that. Yep. Okay, I'm good to go. Time to break this party. Questions complete, where are they? The whole group should be present. Hi. I'm your worst nightmare, Zemrockian scum. Yeah, look at this, this sucks. I probably could kill him off with my bare hands quicker. Him that time. Only one damage, seriously? He only has one health left. Okay, 
Okay, seriously, you are joking with me. Okay, there we go. Now I'm not gonna kill you. Who are you? Warrior of Zamorak, leader of the Blood Pack. Faithful servants of Zamorak, we bound ourselves together in the Great God service of the Blood Pact. And the weak god Zardamian's dominance over Lumbridge. The Blood Pack and the power of the tomb, yada yada yada. We can send an army of the dead to claim the town for Zamorak. Okay, um. No, I'm not killing you. Oh, crap. He just offed himself. Alright, well, I'm taking that sword. Thanks. Well, I guess that's it. Did you really? <laughs> Is there a reward for this? I won't be that much of a... Okay. Yeah, prevail to me. Is there anything I want to ask? Um, you weren't really wounded, were you? Uh, so how did I do? Hmm. Reese managed to complete the ritual of his own death. He's up in the staircase. Uh, there's creatures down there now. If I want to fight them, can I fight them? Yeah, I can fight them. If I want to fight them, I'll fight them later. Hmm. Yay! Wow, that was a lot of stuff. Boots level 2 and defense strength, ranged level, magic level. I think I'm level 4 now, overall. Yeah, I am. Combat level 4. So we're still a weakling, but whatever. <laughs> Task for running. This game's great. It's just hilarious for some reason. Alright. I already have 200 gold. I only had like 100 something earlier. The quest must have given me like 100 more. There should be a quest in the castle, I think. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is. So we're gonna take a look at that. Cook's assistant, yeah, that's the quest. Yeah, let's go ahead and talk to him, I guess. What's wrong, Cook? making a cake. Can I have some cake? You forgot to get the ingredients on such an important occasion? Really? Alright. Super large egg, top quality milk, and some extra fine powder. Or flour. Same difference as the type of powder. Okay, you don't know where to get them. That's nice. I know there is a patch of cows around somewhere, and I could probably get milk off of those. It's the first thing I think of, and I know there's like a pen of chickens, probably. I think close to the cows. The more I play this game, the more I remember stuff about it.
goblins. Goblins everywhere. Mm. Yep, there's cows here. Let's take a look. I want the sword, because I'm probably going to chop up some cows as well. Let's talk to her. Much some top quality milk. Yes, it's a cake for dupe horror CO or whatever. Prize cow. She's over on the other fence to the east of me. Be gentle. Uh, okay, there it is. It's the only one over by that fence. I should probably need a bucket. Yeah, it's one ingredient down. That didn't take long. Let's find the other two. I'm actually... I, I have an idea that sh there's some chickens around here. I should probably look eggs for around. Um, I have no idea about the flour, though. I think you make flour from wheat in this game. So I'd probably want to look for a wheat field. We have the second ingredient. I think it's on the pathways out of Lum Bridge. I think there's a wheat field somewhere. It's either this way or the other way where the cows were. I don't remember, but I'll check this way first since I'm already here. There's some sheep here too. Oh, there's a milk person here too. Maybe I could have gotten milk off of her too. Yes, it's possible. Um, let's look this way first. I see. I think I see a wheat field on the map. Yep, that's definitely a wheat field. All right. Um. Check this windmill. I think I can make wheat here. I can, I think. Looking for extra fine flour. Need extra fine. Nothing else will do. Um. How do I mill flour? I think I just go up there to the top and put it in. See some levers too, okay. Throw it in there. Operate the hopper controls. I don't remember this quest being like this, but whatever. happen to have pot maybe? I'm hoping she'll give me a pot. So I need something to put this in. I think I need a pot. Oh, I have to buy one? Oh, okay, you gave me one. That's good. I'm still good at this, I see. 
like the free quest for the most part in the stuff you do in the free areas well this quest was a little bit different than I remember but the other ones I probably will remember quite well still but um the free stuff in the game I remember quite clearly the member stuff I don't because I did wasn't a member uh, not quite as long as I was a as I did play this for free so I plan on doing all the free stuff first and then becoming a member and then doing all that stuff basically if I ratioed it I'd say the free part of the game is about a quarter of the whole game and then the member stuff's like the other three quarters of the game We could probably burn through the uh, free world quest pretty quickly, besides like one or two. Like the one that has the um, dragon in it would be a bit difficult for us. But that one's usually done last. Well, this quest didn't take us very long at all, but it is a pretty basic quest, so. I think the next place I'll go is Drainer. Because there's a couple quests in Drainer that I could probably start. There's like a haunted mansion or something over there too. Alright. There's everything. Uh, we don't get to go to the party, that sucks. Alright, man. That's okay. Ooh. 20 sardines and 500 coins, that's pretty good. And we're now level 4 in uh, cooking levels. That's a nice jump. I think I could probably uh, cook sardines now. Or something like that. I think cooking is not a very hard skill to level up though. I remember being a part of the cooking guild. That was like the only guild that I was really part of. Cause I, don't, I only think you have to be like level 30 or 40 to be in the cooking guild. It's not very high at all. Spiders and goblins. Maybe we should kill some stuff. Maybe we should move somewhere else and kill stuff. It seems like there's people already training here. Sling. The staff of air is pretty good though. Good task done. Bearing bones raise up your prayer, and prayer, as far as I remember, is like one of the most difficult skills, free skills that uh, you can level up. It is seriously, seriously difficult to get prayer up, especially in the later levels. I usually give up after like level 20. All right. Another task for eating something. I almost have a thousand gold already. That is insane. Although I did get 500 from the cook's assistant, so I guess that pretty much makes it understandable. <laughs> 